Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Oh, I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about skincare. Bet you didn't expect that coming to my channel. <laughs> let's just get into the video. In today's video, I want to talk about two terms that are commonly used in the skincare community but are not the same, hydration and moisture. And if you're watching thinking, what, they're different? Yeah, bitch, I was shook when I figured it out too. And I'll be honest, in the past, I have been guilty of kind of using the terms interchangeably, but hydration versus moisture are actually two pretty distinct terms that refer to different processes and ways of taking care of the skin. And I actually want to thank Susan Yara for inspiring me to make this video because I remember a while ago she came up with a video talking Talking about the difference between the two. And while I knew the functionality of both, it helped kind of remind me to make sure I'm very distinct about when I use both terms and not use them interchangeably. But I know you're probably sitting there thinking, another complicated thing in skincare? Yeah, bitch, it never stops. The skincare education grind never stops, bro. That was the wettest burp I have ever done in my life. Whew. I want to explain the difference between the two terms, how you can maximize the benefits of each, and of course, product recommendations for each type. Let's get into it. This video is also sponsored in part by Vichy, which I've pronounced it Vichy in the past. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was pronouncing it wrong, but welcome to my channel where I pronounce literally almost every single ingredient wrong. So stay tuned for that. So when it comes to the conversation around hydration versus moisture, it really does come down to ingredients. Which ingredients are going to be hydrating and which ingredients are going to be moisturizing? So now when it comes to ingredients, there are no black and white rules. It is so complicated, but typically hydration will refer to water-based ingredients while moisture will refer to oil-based ingredients. And obviously if you're familiar with water and oil, you know that they do not mix, thereby signifying the significant difference between hydration and moisture. Now our skin is a living, breathing organ. We rely on water to survive. Our skin produces oil and water through sebum every single day. Unfortunately, taking care of your skin is not as simple as just splashing your face with some water or just putting some 100% olive oil on your skin. It's not that simple, bitch. But what is necessary in a routine is that you have a combination of both hydrating factors and moisturizing factors. The benefit of adding hydration into the skin is that it gives your skin a very refreshed look. It helps to fight against dehydration, excessive dryness that we experience. Your skin looks healthy. It has this nice sheen to it. It gives you this nice, refreshing, instantaneous hydration feel. And while I believe that hydration at some level is necessary for everyone, it's particularly most beneficial to anyone who experiences dryness, dehydrated skin, flaky skin, or anyone who's really struggling with a lack of water in the skin. Now let's focus on hydration, more water-based ingredients. These are ingredients that typically are fast absorbed by the skin. They sink in very quickly and give kind of an instantaneous, plump, overall hydrated look. Typically when you put them on the skin, they don't feel extremely noticeable and they're not heavy. Some of my favorite hygienic ingredients include first, hyaluronic acid. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with hyaluronic acid as it's kind of labeled as like the hydrating ingredients of all ingredients. And along with this, sodium hyaluronate, which is the salt of hyaluronic acid, which essentially means it's more concentrated. And the way hyaluronic acid acid works is that it's really reliant on the environment. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. Humidity in the environment that the hyaluronic acid can grab onto and pull greedily into your skin. Hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient for anyone who lives in a non-dry climate because any humidity that's in the air, that hyaluronic acid is gonna grab onto it. Another hydrating ingredient I love is glycerin, which is kind of like the less popular but just as good ingredient as hyaluronic acid. Glycerin, similar to hyaluronic acid, is a humectant as well, but it's not as greedy as hyaluronic acid and tends to work for the majority of skin types. So if you have really dry skin or you live in a dry climate, glycerin is definitely a great ingredient for you to look for. Other hydrating ingredients I love, for example, include like algaes, which can be great for plumping the skin and a lot of plant extracts out there. It really depends, but like aloe vera, for example, is a great example when liquid form of a hydrating ingredient. Typically, hydrating products are your serums, your essences, your toners, your waters, even your masks, and they're often intentionally made to feel like nothing on the skin. And here are some hydrating products I love. The first one being today's video sponsor. Thank you so much, Vichy. Vichy. Oh, I'm still getting used to that pronunciation. <laughs> if you guys have noticed, like uh, for a good month, I had this one right here on my shelf. It is their Mineral 89 Serum. Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. Um, um, first of all, love the packaging, super beautiful. But besides that, this is I think a perfect example and like the epitome of a good hydrating product. I first discovered this product a long time ago via James Welsh. It was actually per recommendation of him. I got it at the drugstore. One of the benefits of this product, you can find it at the drugstore. And initially I really wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because I am someone who has combination to oily skin. And typically I don't 
feel that hydrating products are necessary to my skin. But this product taught me that that is definitely not the case, that everyone should be focused on hydration. And this was the first hydrating serum that really made me go, wow, this is what a hydrating serum should be like. The reason why it has 89 on the bottle is because it's formulated with 89% of their volcanic mineral water. And this volcanic water is actually rich in 15 different types of minerals, all of which are great for getting water into the skin, for getting water into your pores, maintaining the health of the skin, soothing irritation and sensitivities, and so many more benefits. And they actually get this volcanic water from volcanoes in France. Did y'all know that there are volcanoes in France? I didn't. I want to go see them. But in addition, it only has 11 ingredients and it's also formulated with sodium hyaluronate, the concentrated form of hyaluronic acid that I was just talking about. I like it because while really simplistic in nature, it's actually clinically proven to help strengthen and repair the skin's barrier, which I'm all about moisture barrier protection on my channel. That is one thing that's very important to me because I see so many of you guys who do have damaged, broken moisture barriers that need healing. It's fragrance and irritant free, but the main reason why I was so attracted to this product in the first place is that the first time I used it, my skin became so hydrated and just supple. And like I said, that's typically not something I'm really looking for because I'm usually a grease factory, but it sank into the skin, felt like nothing, something that's really important for the human environment that I live in. And it wasn't an overly strong humectant, but this one was a great bridge for helping to ensure that my skin is properly hydrated while getting those skin barrier benefits. Overall, I feel like it's a really well-balanced and good product. And Vichy is also offering you guys a discount code. So if you use code Hiram, just H-Y-R-A-M, check out at Vichy.com, you'll get 15% off and free shipping through the end of December. Thank you Vichy for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys as always for being cool about my sponsorship so that I can take deals from the very, very, very few brands that happen to fit in line with my very picky philosophy. Back on the shelf. Another hydrating product I love in a different format is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I love this one for its ability to reduce redness in the face, but it also has this really great ability to hydrate and plump the skin along with great ingredients in an alternative form, a face mask. In an essence form, I love the Primera Miracle Seed Essence. This one is, here's the thing, when it comes to essences, I am very picky, very, very picky, but this is a great example of using a natural extract for its hydrating abilities. I wish there were more words for hydrates. <laughs> I keep saying this product like hydrates your skin, but I'm like, obviously you guys are learning what hydration is, so how do I even explain it? It's so hard to explain unless you've actually experienced it. Another one is the Paul's Choice Triple Algae Pollution Shield. This one is a great blend of antioxidants, but has hydrating ingredients that work well to quickly absorb by the skin, but also have antioxidant protection benefits. Now let's talk about moisturizing ingredients. Like I said before, moisturizing ingredients tend to have the reputation of being oil-based, but I will say I don't believe all moisturizing ingredients have to be oil-based in the way that we typically think about oil. The function of moisturizing ingredients is to create essentially a layer on the surface of your skin to prevent water from escaping your skin. Remember how I said how water and oil don't mix before? As we all know, we had the science class where we put the oil in the water. We remember this. Having an oil-based layer on the surface of your skin helps to make sure that you're not losing any water through your skin. And we actually lose water through our skin through a process called transepidermal water loss or tool. I talk about it all the time on my channel because it's one of the most important concepts that we need to learn about skincare. When our skin loses water, it becomes dehydrated, it becomes dry, we experience breakouts, we get rapid aging, and it overall just affects the health of our skin. And if our skin isn't at its top health, we're gonna see a lot of other problems that aren't directly even related to water loss. And that's the benefit of using moisturizing ingredients and why I think everyone should use a moisturizer no matter what. Some of the best performing moisturizing ingredients, in my opinion, are, for example, silicones like dimethicone, which is personally one of my favorite types of silicones, as it really does a good job of putting a seal over the face without having any negative environmental impact. And silicones have a very, very, very bad reputation because first, for some reason, people think they're toxic, which is ridiculous. Second, a lot of silicones can be derived from mineral oil and mineral oil is a byproduct of fossil fuels, which is why it has a very negative reputation. But the amount actually used is so infinitely small that the majority of silicones out there aren't really creating a negative impact on the environment. And silicones are the best performing moisturizing ingredients on the market, which is why I think it's a good idea to use them. And third, silicones have the reputation of being pore clogging, which show me the evidence because there has been so much data done on silicones like dimethicone and others without showing pore clogging potential. It just does not exist. Another ingredient is squalane, an ingredient I love because it can be derived from plants and it has really moisturizing properties, but it's not heavy on the skin and it can be made in a variety of moisturizer formulas, lightweight or heavy. Ingredients like shea butter, which have a richer nature, but still work great as moisturizing ingredient. And another one I love, avocado oil, which is not only good for its moisturizing abilities, but also for its antioxidant and soothing abilities as well. Now for moisturizing products, my typical go-to is a moisturizer. Yes, you can use something like a face oil, but to be honest, moisturizers typically have a much better ability of creating that proper sealant on your face to make sure you're not losing water. Because seriously, water loss is such a big issue when taking care of your skin and you want to make sure that you are not possibly missing that step. So it's always good to go in with a moisturizer. Some of my favorites include the Biosense moisturizers, whether it's their probiotic gel cream or their Omega repair cream, because they offer good solutions for whether you have oily skin or dry skin. They include the ingredient squalene 
Lane, one of my favorites, as well as ingredients like dimethicone and Crepilic triglyceride, all of which serve to be a really good mixture of moisturizing ingredients, but in really pleasant, very nice textured experiences. I will be the one to say it, not all moisturizers are moisturizing. I have seen some moisturizers that claim to be free of silicones or oil-free, and when I actually look at the ingredient list, I'm like, there's nothing in here that would actually prevent transepidermal water loss. It's all just a blend of hydrating ingredients, but not moisturizing ingredients. This is not going to create a proper seal over top of your skin. And while maybe that's okay for someone with really, really oily skin, the majority of people really do need to use a moisturizer with proper moisturizing ingredients, which is why it's important you know what they are. I also love this one's on my shelf, the Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. This one also features squalane. It packs a punch for hydration, but it's a very lightweight gel experience. This one includes ingredients like squalane, but also mango seed butter, cocoa butter, and sunflower seed oil, all of which are great moisturizing oils. But the nice thing is that while those ingredients have the reputation for being very heavy on the skin, this one is a light gel cream that soaks in really quickly, gives the skin a nice glow. Or another one I love as well, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This one has ingredients like squalane, colloidal oatmeal, great for helping to soothe and repair the skin, shea butter, anti-methicone, a great blend for really preventing that water loss. And here's the final thing I'll say as well. Both are important. It's really important to make sure that you're not only getting hydrating ingredients in hydrating products, but also pairing it with good moisturizing agents and moisturizing oils. Because the perfect blend would be to use a good hydrating product and then seal it in with a good moisturizing product. That way you can ensure while your skin is being protected from water loss, there's a good level of hydration underneath, which is why I think they're really important alongside each other. And that's why it's really important that you're ensuring you're incorporating both hydration and moisture into your skincare routine. Wow, this was an informative video. I love informative videos though. It's so much fun to just rattle off all this information and hope that you guys pick up at least a little bit of it. <laughs> but regardless, I could geek out about skincare ingredients and products all day long. The important thing is that you guys are learning. What do you guys think of this topic? Do you have anything you want to add or do you respectfully disagree? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you again to Vichy for sponsoring this video. And if you do want to get that serum, make sure you use my discount code Hiram to save money and get free shipping. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.